Oh, this game does not like being tabbed out of. Uh, oh, there's the whole bottom bar in. <laughs> what if you had to like scratch to discover the interface as you went in this game? Like it's like it's a it's a lottery ticket. <laughs> It'll probably go away when I'm done, when I click on something. So you can you can choose to hide your identity. Earlier they just asked my name and I'm like, sure, I'm Zane, who gives a shit? Like, knowing my name doesn't mean anything. No one will know my name, so who cares? But it might be worth hiding that you're from a vault because they might think that you're, they might realize that you're a sucker. <laughs> that they don't know about all sorts of things and they can just use you to their own ends and so on. <laughs> Shady Sands, whoops, I'm lost. I'll just be going now. So that's what you, yeah, because this wasn't our destination. You could have just been here an accident and really realized just now how far off you are. I'm, a, I'm from a small village west of here. I'm just exploring and mean you no harm. I know of no village to the west. Are you saying you know every location from here to the ocean? As Dharma said, caution is life in troubled times. Your origin is not the issue. Your intent is... So he thinks I'm, I think he thinks I'm being cautious on purpose and he's fine with that, or he's talking about himself being cautious, or both, I guess. Probably both. But I'm already off to a, a great start at being a smartass, which I think is probably in character for this dude. Okay. I will let you pass, but know this, Seth and I will watch you very, very closely. Do not even consider bringing trouble here. Well, that's the end of that dialogue. Um, anything else I can look into? Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? What can you tell me about Shady Sands? Shady Sands is much like a family, one that keeps to itself. What kind of things are there to, to do around here? What kind of things do you have around here? The gardens are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north. Although the smell is, I fear, quite intense this time of year. Anything else? We are small and self-sufficient, so there is little else to tell. Can I ask you some more questions? Certainly. What do you wish to know? What can you tell me about the other towns around here? Junk Town lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Thanks, I... Can I ask you a few more questions? Certainly. What do you wish to know? What's going on around here? Oh my, yes. Great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Well, I'll help you get rid of those things. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please, talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. I have to memorize some names. Unless there's a quest log in here somewhere? I don't know if that's that kind of game. Status? Find the water chip. Shady Sands. Stop the rad scorpions. I guess that's the quest log. What's that? Alarm clock. That's how long you want to rest. Rest until healed would take, like... Days. That took a while. Did I just see that correctly? I did see that correctly. Weird. Oh, that's weird. I'm looking at OBS and like my mouse is one to one, but like. You can hear me clicking on these things. It's not updating. Or th th that didn't change on my screen, so it's bad. Uh, but I click on this thing, click. And I think nothing changes on your guys' screen, unless OBS is glitching out and just previewing it wrong. But, like, I can see the whole list. 
Yeah, once I move my mouse over to it, it shows up. That's weird. If I highlight this screen, then it updates on OBS. But if I don't, then it might then it takes a while. Or if I click on it again? Clicking on it again makes it update. Weird. It's not doing that on my screen. It's only doing it for you guys. Assuming it's previewing correctly. Greetings. What may I help you with this? Goodbye. Goodbye. I need to talk to Razlo. I'm too busy to talk right now. I've got to get this meal ready. Don't bother me. Well, everyone's happy to see me so far. Nice to see you. Was this Razlo? What do you know about rad scorpions? Not too much. They seem to be extremely large versions of the, uh, of the American Emperor Scorpion. Contrary to my medical knowledge, their poison has grown more potent, not diluted, as I would expect. Seth has been hunting them, which helps some of my tests. In between episodes, I googled whether or not you can fix this auto-scroll thing, and it was just a bunch of people uh, complaining about the auto-scrolling and being like, Ah, English is my second language, I can't read it fast enough, and stuff like that. And then people just saying that you can click to go back. And they can also use the, the, the uh, arrow keys. But nobody actually saying a way to stop it, so I don't think you can stop it. Kind of annoying. And how such a large creature can even be possible by natural evolution, or even radiation-induced mutation is beyond me. You seem well-educated. What are you doing here? <laughs> Wait, that's not a very nice comment. Doc Morbid in Junkertown taught me some. And just because we live in stone huts does not mean we're any less intelligent or educated. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'm off to a good start at making everybody hate me. Off to a good start. I need hip. By the way. I need healing. Of course you do. Let's see here. How can you still be walking? This looks extremely serious. We'll need some special prayers for this one and a lot of luck. Not to mention a hundred dollars. <laughs> Uh, I don't ha have enough money. You don't have enough money? I'm sorry, but my work ethic doesn't permit me to heal for free. You know, come back when you have money. Can you take something and trade? Trying to make up a hundred caps. How many caps do I actually have? Twenty-seven. Uh-huh. Up to a good start. What about drugs? You're a medicine boy. Those two drugs are worth 560 caps? How good are Mentats? I mean, I need it, so give. Oh, right. If that's all the money you have, I, then I'll just be losing the drugs in the process. They have to be equal value, right? Unless I'm good at bartering, which, <laughs> no, I'm not. I have a spare machete. That's worth 80. Not entirely ideal. Uh, can I add a stim pack? That's too much. Uh, maybe I should put both of these in though. Put all both of these in and, and add like uh, one of the drugs. One drugs, please. How much is this one? That's pretty close, but he's having to spend more than me. Uh. Um. Yeah, we need to we need to be roughly equal, presumably. Why do I have two act? One of these guys? That's closer. <clears throat> these are valuable drugs, apparently. What about the other one? The 320. 520. 240. 
This is hard. So I need to add 30 again. Lizard on a stick? <laughs> it's closer. I don't think I can even accomplish my goal. This is actually really hard to balance. <laughs> I'm making this math too nuts. All right. Lizard on a skit. Stick for 46. How about that? That's a good trade. Okay. <laughs> there. Simplified. But that still leaves me at only 73. So that's not enough to heal. Probably going to have to heal the slow way. Thanks for nothing, you punk. I need to find somebody with a poor sense of the value of their belongings. Or I need to steal some belongings. And I'm not good at that, so it's not a good start for me. So those people are just trying to cook. This guy was potentially going to offer his support? Or I had the option to ask for it? Yeah, he was. Uh, can you give me directions to the hub in Junktown? The hub's a big trading center far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The Water Merchants, the Crimson Caravan, and the Fargo Traders. It's a little south and ways west. It's smaller, but it's still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by in the name of Killian Darkwater, the local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Tell me about Seth. Seth's a very brave fighter. He occasionally goes to the Rad Scorpion Caves to kill a few Rad Scorpions, but they always wind up coming back. There are just too many of them to fight. Are the Rad Scorpions really that dangerous? Rad Scorpions are very dangerous. They have a poisonous stinger in the tail, and they're very quick. Eridesh has been trying to find a way to get rid of them. If you feel brave, you can talk to Eridesh about them. Can you help me with them? Could you help me out a bit? Your experience would be useful. Hmm. <laughs> Tempting offer. Since this place gets very boring. Tell you what, standard rate. 100 caps and you got a deal. How about a piece of the action instead? Alright, I'll help you out in exchange for my share of loot. Let's go. Be good to get back into action. Okay, so he can help me with the... He can probably help me out with that stuff at least. Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Why not? Look, Shady Sands doesn't need your kind. Oh. They're not fans. These people have the same dialogue as the other person did. Yeah, I don't have 100 caps to offer. I can... Uh, I can offer part of my reward. Or what we find. It's small. Oh, it's the poopy building. Don't need none of that. I do still need healing, though. Red warrior needs healing. Take me to the Rad Scorpion Caves. You sure you want to give me to give you directions to the Rad Scorpion Caves? I can't go, but I can show you the way. Yes. Whoops, and here we are. I, I did not heal on the way here. Where are we? Oh. Where are we? <laughs> Am I still here? This is a different map. I haven't seen something quite like this before.
Hmm. Oh. So all the places I got instructions to are here. Oh. <laughs> the map to the raider's place is... There's a cons logo on metal, and they scraped a map onto it. So these, so these are a series of items in my inventory that are like little maps of each area. And I can click on individual spots of it to teleport around within that area. So here's the vault I came from. Multiple places around there. I don't think, am I allowed to go back in though? Vault 15 was my goal. Shady Sands, Junk Town, Raiders, and The Hub. So because I've heard about them, I know how to get back to them. It's interesting. I don't necessarily understand how to get back to... Um... I don't really know how to get back to this... The, the, the Rad Scorpion place? It didn't. I don't see it on the map. I guess rest until healed. What's the consequences for re just sitting around in this game? Is this like took a while, right? It's the thirteenth of December. Eleventh of December. So healing took two days. That's not massive, I guess, but definitely a little rough, isn't it? Consequences of needing healing. But I don't have a lot of other means right now, so I guess I should just swallow it for now. Unless I wanted to use stim packs and shit already. As opposed to like when I'm in the middle of a dungeon and need them to proceed. I think I've heard this game has a ticking clock, though, so we'll see. Keep various saves around, I guess. You see the bones of a large two-headed cow. Well, that's pretty fucking weird. Can I, make, can I make this guy go first? Oh, wait. I should draw a gun. It's a smart thing to do. Oh, wow, they're really big. That's not good. <laughs> Those things look massive. I'm gonna die. No, don't talk to it. I haven't shoot it. Ow! I'm poisoned. I shot the wrong one somehow. I definitely meant to, uh... Please be good at shooting things to death. I definitely meant to try to shoot it or something, not talk to it. That was a bad one. There you go, he'll get more shots in while they're following me. Or they'll hit him next. You need four action points, or I can run away more. Alright. That's a vaguely okay start, but now I'm poisoned. Shown anywhere? Poisoned. Poison would do damage over a period of time until cured or it passes from your system. Oh. Do I have, uh... Healing items? Highly advanced steroids, while in effect, they increase strength and reflexes, causes intense cravings. That sounds not great. A healing cam, when injected, the cam provides immediate healing of minor wounds. Don't have a ton of those. A pill box of mind-altering chems increases memory-related functions and speeds up other men uh, mental processes. Causes cravings. Those ones will get me in trouble. Mm. Might as well try some of these throwing weapons. And see how they work. Uh, guns? Oh, that one's loaded. Interesting.
All four. Yeah, I'm confused about how that works exactly. How the bullets work. Okay, so I guess I'll slowly take damage. I'm not sure how often that comes up. Let's see if these guys have... Okay, they have some loot. I don't know what my carrying capacity is at. How much is being used. You can carry 70. Cool. How much do I have? Total weight 62. Alright, well that's not great. <laughs> I'm well on my way to being capped out already. What's that? 10 millimeter JH HP. Small pile of rocks. And a heaping dose of human remains. A very large pile of bleached bones. You cannot determine the species of the dead critters. Oh, they look human to me. I'll, I'll figure that one out for you right here now. They are dead humans. Does this game have the pause automatic? Ooh, loot. Does this game have the pause automatically when I'm about to run into a trap that I have detected? <laughs> Feature. Should I be really afraid of walk of running long distances? This is a very limited line of sight. So my dude is capable. I might want to start fights by running away immediately. <laughs> so that he has time to shoot at them while I can... Oh god, there's a lot of them. Any... Nope, no ammo in these bones. It's just the one of them over here. 57's not great. Oh, he's coming. That's the aggro range. Um, hi, you, hi, I'm a gargantuan coward, it's a good thing, <laughs> it's fitting we're doing a low luck run and my vault number is 13, not a great town, everybody, everybody's toast lands butter side down, that rhymed on accident, I mean on purpose. Give me all the credit, please. I'm at maximum carry capacity. How fucking heavy is a scorpion tail? Tell me, game. This is an unfortunate scrolling list inventory. It weighs 20 pounds! Okay, I think I know why we're out of inventory space. Okay. Wow. My weight's like 60 right now, so most of my inventory is two tails. We are not going to be able to t carry these all home and sell them. Who knows if they're worth selling anyway. I'll have to check after this episode whether or not there is a faster way to reload. It seems intuitive that there would be. Let's try doing throwing daggers next because I'm so cool. Cannot hit that person. Cool. Seventy-four percent. Uh -uh. Let's do it, bro. Yep. Yeah. Three hit points. Cool. Anyway, guns. Then I will actually running. You deal with him. That's not a good start for my throwing knife. Maybe I'll be really good at grenades, and that'll make it worth it. Or maybe it's a fucking dump stat that I'm gonna regret the whole playthrough. But that's just a tradition. I'm not playing a CRPG unless I regret my entire character build because I believed that they would all be worth it in some way. <laughs> right, just tails. Did you just shoot me? You just shot me for 12 hit points. You big old pile of dick. Can I change characters? Can I moderate his inventory at all? Dude, we're not even like in combat right now. Why the fuck did you shoot me? Holy crap. <laughs> You're more dangerous than the scorpions. I regret bringing you along, dick. I don't regret that much. I can run away half the time. 
<laughs> you use your ammo up and I'll be like, oh wow, yeah, I, I sure helped. That's me. Doctor Helpful. Please stand between me and the scorpions. In fact, I'm just going to run a little further away. <laughs> this dick fucking shot me. What the fuck? I thought we were buds. How are we doing on that? We're halfway to the next level. Or not quite. We've only gained 600 since the actual level up. So we're like a quarter of the way from the previous level to the next one. It's one of those games where your experience is a total that counts from zero, like D&D. It doesn't like reset the counter every level. Oh, he's coming. Here he comes. Bye. I've already uncovered the secret of being a gargantuan coward. Excellent defense mechanism. I'm running out of ammo, aren't I? Is this my ammo? Is this what's, what's my ammo? Oh, right click is reload. Okay. Oh no, you right click to queue up the action for reloading and then you use it separately. Oh, bad guys. Woo, 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 woo. There we go. There you go, now I reloaded. You right click then left click. Got a little cut off grab by that guy aggroing on us in the middle of that. Oh, he's going. Oh, we're still in combat. We didn't stop. I was wrong. Bye. A little more bye. One more. One more step. Good. Don't worry. I'm still helping. I'm just, you know, not gonna get stung anymore. Didn't work out for me before. Also, you can't complain. You shot me, dick. <laughs> I think he'll shoot him first, right? I guess it should have reloaded. Forty-nine percent's not great. Let's get a little closer. Oh, I got him. He crit him that one time. For defeating your enemies, you gain three thirty and five hundred for stopping the rad scorpions. So we got a bonus experience for finishing the quest, and it happened immediately. We didn't have to go back and turn it in first. Sure. But when does the poison happen? I might have missed it in the dialogue so far, the little text update thing that's from Wasteland-style stuff. But, um... I haven't seen it so far. A little worried it's going to come up on the world map, although we might be in the same area right now. When does the poison, though? Worth checking. Hey, everybody. Don't mind me. I'm just fucking incredible. Rewards, please. Our entire town is grateful for you destroying the grad scorpions. Thank you. What can I do for you? Let's see. Take me to the rad scorpion caves. I want to know about the rad scorpions. Thanks to you, we're now safe from them. So the, the dialogue does update. There's just little hints of stuff that are the same. Ah, things are much more settled now. Raslo has been working on a cure for the rad scorpion poison, and with that, we should be able to fight what's left of them. What's left of them, I took care of 
everything. You don't need to worry anymore. I destroyed the nest. You are truly a hero. Know that the people of Shady Sands are most grateful. Uh, can I ask more questions, though? Certainly. What do you wish to know? There's actually not that much here. So, uh, Mr. Rad Scorpion Venom, can you, uh, fix me up, please? It's late. Come back in the morning. But I need your help. Are you hurt? Yes. Great Brahmin, why didn't you say so? Uh, I did. Oh, Great Brahmin, this is very serious. It'll cost you $50. But... But I saved the city. I don't have enough money. How about a rad scorpion tail instead? Let me see the sack. Yes, I can do something with this. As well as heal you for this great gift. This will take a bit of time. Come, relax in the back while I work with the sack. Um, I don't really need to hear about you working in the sack, sir. You might have a slight headache from the ginger juice as well. Come, come. You have been poisoned. You take damage from poison. Um, can you unpoison me also? I need your help. It barely hurts you, wimp. Come back in the morning. I... You wimp. Please, I'm dying of poison, you pricks. What time is it? I mean, I guess waiting just makes the poison happen more, right? So I might as well just keep waiting. Go on, go to something else in the meantime. Just be sad about my slow poison damage. Wait for myself to metabolize it all. Draw your best weapon next time you go into battle? What? What weapons are you skilled with? I'm a good shot with just about any sort of pistol. And I use a submachine gun, too. I also know how to handle a knife. You need a change in formation. What distance you want me out? Stay close. Sure thing. Yeah, I guess the closer you are, the more I can retreat if we, if bad things could happen. Please take all the hits for me. Did I talk to everyone in town? As with the generic people? Possibly. It's a motion sensor, but it's not installed. Maybe I'll have to go check out the hub. When do, when does he get paid? Has he already been taking loot along the way? I can't even carry all the tails we find, so it doesn't seem like such a big deal. Oop. I meant to check the map thing, but eh, we'll just go. Oh, wow, it is way down there. Well, we're most of the way there already. Might as well just admit to my mistakes. I guess that helps with healing a bit now. I guess I'm dying of poison, but also healing it off from the time travel. You search for water in the high desert landscape for five hours, but you do not find enough to fully satisfy your thirst. You've sustained a point of health damage. I'm, da I'm taking thirst damage and poison damage. Cool. Anything here? Did they only... I think they only stopped me to tell me that I took health damage from thirst. I don't see anything on this map. Oh, is this dark area like the desert desert and it hurts you? Dirt 
Junk Town. You'd better put that away. Junk Town's a friendly place, friend. And we want to keep it that way. Put what away? Your weapon, idiot. Killian won't take your arms away, but you'd better damn well keep them in their holster. Oh, sorry. Better behave. Since it's the law, I enforce the law. And I enforce the law. Put your weapon away. Don't draw it in self-defense. And, oh. Don't draw it in less in self-defense. And you won't have a problem with my guards. Disobey the law and we, and, you, and we will return you to the lawless wasteland, dead or alive. Sure, since you put it that way. No. No, I right. No! I didn't mean it. Uh, well, time to die. He is dead. <laughs> What does he have on him? <laughs> you don't have enough AP. I'm not in combat right now. Should have put AP. He's got that shit and some leather armor and a deagle and a stim. He did not use the stim effectively in our fight. I'm joking, obviously. I have to load my save now. Because that was not a choice. That was just me accidentally. That was just me clicking wrong and being like, well, actually I started combat, and then he reacted to the combat starting by attacking me. Whoops. Let's get back to where we left off. Alright, so I did check online, and it looks like there is no holster feature. You just have to unequip your weapon. So that's how that do. In the meantime, on my way home, and my way back to Junkertown this time, uh, things went worse. Ah! Ah! You get him, buddy. You fuck him up. This is not the best for my hit chance, but it is good for my hit points. Ha! <laughs> These things want to kill me. It definitely got me again. Oh, did it say I was poisoned? You have been poisoned. Cool. It got me right at the beginning. Like, it started the fight by poisoning me. Dick! Wow, that's a lot of coin tosses I won. Those were not good hit chances, but it didn't seem to matter. Well, I can carry another one of these. There's that at least. Can I look at the map a little bit? That seems to be the boundaries of the map. All right, back to it. So last time I took a damage because I was tired, I was thirsty. This time I took a, a dam, I got poisoned. I'm worse off than last time. Cool. Put what away? Sorry. Since you put it that away. I'm starting to think it's a good thing I didn't just specialize in throwing weapons, since they only gave me two at the beginning, and the one I did throw did, like, no damage. We are now in Junkertown. There are little greenish specks everywhere. This place looks developed. Lots of guards, it looks like. Hospital. Kind of looks like a diner. That's been converted. Sorry, the gates are closed for the night. Come back in the morning. What? Dick? Hey, I need to get in. 
Sorry, the rules are the rules. No strangers admitted during the night. Really getting fucked over by the day-night cycle so far. I don't get Medicare, medical care, and I don't get the ability to come inside of a town. Instead, I just get bad news. Alright. Rude. Can I sneak in? That'll be sure to curry all sorts of favor with these people. Yeah, it's not telling me it's like a secret entrance or anything. It just says it's a wall. It's a tin wall? That's a steel wall. It actually has different material types per chunk of wall. It's funny. Well, what else am I going to do? Just stare lovingly into your eyes until the sun comes up? I guess so. Rest until morning. You happy? Welcome to Junker Town. What can I do for you for? Uh, you... we've met. What are you doing here? What is this place? What does it look like? I'm a guard, and I'm keeping an eye out for strangers like you. And this place is called Junker Town. Hey, don't laugh. I, I happen to like the name myself. We mostly do trading. Sometimes we trade with those stuck-up bastards from Hub. Hey, you're not from the Hub, are you? Me? No, I'm not from the Hub. Hmm. Okay, it's not your place to ask questions. Have a good day and don't make any trouble. But trouble is how I do and what I am. Probably, hopefully not, actually. I don't think I'll survive much trouble. Can I help you, stranger? Sure, what's there to do around here? Plenty, so long as you stay on our good side. We got Killian Darkwater's store, where you can do some trading. And there's Gizmo's Casino, if you're a gambler. Or if you just want a drink, you can head over to the scum, the scum pit. Just don't get too rowdy. Okay, thanks. Can you give me the big picture on Junker Town? Me and my men here were for Killian Darkwater. We keep some orders in this town, dealing with all the murderers, thieves, and other scumbags who, who come in from the desert. If you want my advice, you'll also stay away from Gizmo. That fat head runs a crooked operation. We just haven't been able to prove anything. He and his lackeys, the Skulls, are going to take the fall sometime soon, if Killian has anything to say about it. So what keeps you law boys from just busting Gizmo and the Skulls? Gotta do it all proper like. We know that Gizmo runs a rigged operation and all, but we need hard evidence to bring him down. Same with the Skulls. They rough someone up, we bring one or two of them in, but nothing changes. We just don't have any direct evidence tr tying them to any of the killings and muggings. Maybe I can help you with that. Hell, if you think you can get some dirt on either of them, we'd appreciate the help. Killian's the one to talk to if you want to talk about Gizmo, but if you can get some info on the Skulls, just come back to me and the boys will take care of them. Hmm. You have, to re you have to restart dialogue a lot if you want to do all the things that are there. Who are you? I'm the head of the guards here in Junker Town. Name's Lars, for that matter. Who are you, stranger? I'm Zane. Welcome to Junk Town, Zane. What can I help you with? See ya. Natural dialogue. <laughs> But I had to get back in there. I knew there was more. But then he's like, what can I do for you for? I'm like, I've already done all the dialogue. This is my last choice, not my first. This container appears locked. A lot of locked stuff around here.
None of these people seem named, just guards. I like my boss. Watch out for Gizmo and his cronies. Pretty blanket statements from them. This dude looks like a different character model. What are you doing here? Well, different doesn't mean interactive. Oh, that's jail. Can I help you? Who are you? I'm Andrew. My job is to guard the jail. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm guarding the fucking jail. I make sure that miscreants don't get in and out. Why would you keep people from getting in the jail? Because so they, they'll get people out? Someone might leave something to help a prisoner escape. Or just might get locked inside and stuck until we can get the keys. Oh. You have a good day and stay out of trouble. What if I want to visit the jail? Sounds exciting. Not that exciting. Don't, don't get in jail. Nobody wants to deal with me because it's nighttime. Wait, what? What time is it? Six in the morning. He said it's late? I specifically waited until morning. Although it looks like it's dark out. Am I wrong about what time of day it is? We're closed. Come back later. When's the doctor here? The doc sees patients from 8 to 5. Now get out of here. My god, I'm still too- I'm here too early. I guess I should just wait a couple of hours, because it kind of sucks to deal with this place when nothing works yet. And now the sun's up, isn't that nice? So that guy would- that guy let me in before the sun was really up. But there wasn't much to do yet. How's it going? Good, and you? The cougar is always fine. Hey, I gotta know. You need to talk to my man Flash here. He can help you out. Flash? He's the Flash and the cougar. I can't. I can only. I can only talk to cougar though. Flash won't talk to me. The fuck, bro? <laughs> Doc Morbid. That's a hell of a name. The doctor is out. He's right here. I can see him. You can't trick me. Oh, what I click on? <laughs> Oh, creepy basement. A rotund midget. Um. What you down here for? To see how you're doing. Um. Okay. Okay. Does that mean you're almost done? Yes, yes, almost done. It's about time. Body parts almost ready to go to the hub. Of course, that's why I'm here. Iguana Man Bob sent you. He happy. Lots of good meat. <laughs> of course, I'll be back in a minute. Well, I just, um, stumbled into the, uh, body trafficking shit going on here by just pretending that I was supposed to be here all along. I'm very clever and smart. Look at me go. How do I go upstairs? There it is. Alright, well... <laughs> I know something. I, um... Hey, Doc, you wanna let me know something about, you know, the fuck that was? you again. The cougar got nothing more to say. The cougar talks about himself in the third person and is also a furry. This is the entirety of his personality. Hi. Alright. <laughs> it's a little hard to tell which characters are NPCs that interact. Oh, can you get out of the way of the door, please? Thank you. 
Trying to trap me in there. Who do you think you are? Um, that's all the buildings. Is there somewhere else to go? Oh, yep, this is just the other side of town. So it just keeps going deeper. The travel tiles don't take you out of town. Ain't junk town a sight for sore eyes? Say so. So far it's I've seen more corpses than friendly faces. And they were in pieces. This is the dark water guy. This is junk town. Nice place to live as long as you stay on our good side. Okay. Would you like to know about the meat industry? This is Killian's, a general store. Killian's a good man and they have plenty of stock. Can I help you? You have a face. That sets you apart from all of the everybody else. Who are you? The name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? My name is Zane. I come from up north. Not much up that way except desert and shady sands. You from there? No, my, uh, village is a little west in the mountains. Yeah, if you say so. So, what do you need? Everyone knows I'm a liar. How about you, how about telling me a bit about this town? Well, junk town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. <laughs> that little, is that him rolling his eyes? There's a lot of work put into these little, these uh, bizarre talking head characters. Do they like render the mouth talking over the rest of the character as like a separate, like an overlay? Or do they have just a bunch of separate head, like, I don't know if the whole thing animates or if they just animate the mouth. I've seen like partial animation tricks before. Problems? From outside, we've had the occasional to-do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls, and I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. So text, text proceeding is just on a timer. Uh, even when it's voiced, it doesn't match the voice. What's there to do around here? Oh, we got tons to do. The scum pit's on the east side by the entrance. Great drinking place. Gizmos is near there. And if you're hurting, Doc Morbid's your man. You didn't mention anything about who Gizmo is. That's all there is to do around here? Well, if we're too fast for you, just pass on by, pal. It is pal, ain't it? Oh, I made him have an angry face. Better than nothing, I guess. By a damn sight. Oh, he doesn't like me now. You own the store? You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. He's not gonna have any happy faces anymore. You again. What do you want now? I want to buy something? Well, that's a damn fine coincidence. That's what this store is here for. We got about everything you can need. Let me show you some things over here. His face is still like... I didn't know this game had, like, different faces personality-wise. Like, like them based on moods. Like, that's a surprise. Is that a Desert Eagle? Yep. He has money. Why, thank you, sir. I would like money. All these goddamn rad scorpion tails are so heavy. Nope. Doing this wrong. Oh. No. They're worth trash. I have booze. Oh, antidote. Well, that's that's good to have. Could use that earlier if I realized it was in here somewhere. Did I ever... Did I sell that sword before? Probably not going to use muscle drugs, so I can turn that into money. Well, that would be a hair sight nicer. Is 
think this is the second gun I found. That's something I can sell. It's a little funny that the uh, there's only three digits, so you have to go for a bit harder there. Um, 68. So will he trade one for one, or am I going to get in trouble for this? That's a good trade. Okay. I got 1340 now. That is a damn sight more money than I had before. But his face is angry all the time now, so... So, uh, let's see if uh, Gizmo likes me, maybe. Oh, shit! Gizmo sends his regards. Uh... Uh... Gun? Shoot gun. Gun gun. Um... Get out of the shotgun radius of that guy? Thank you, friend. Put my gun away before they freak out or something. Well. Um. <laughs> you see a dead Kenji. Hey, he has a name. And he's dead. This is two... There's two things I know about him. Shit. That happened. Hey, level. No, I don't want to look at my level. Level. Uh, oh. Oh, perk screen. Uh, these new? Awareness. You're more likely to notice details about people. Awareness will give you detailed information about them when you perform an examine. Okay. My perception and my intelligence are supposed to be things. Reading people in like a Sherlock Holmes kind of way could be fun. Continue to get a read on people and have a bunch of excess information while being just a dick all the time and people don't like me. Earlier sequence. You're more likely to move before your opponent is in combat, since your sequence is plus two for each level of this perk. Faster healing. More healing would be nice. Healer. The healing of bodies comes easier to you with this perk. Each level will add two to five more hit points healed when using a first aid kit. I guess it's a two to five dice roll. Night vision. With the night vision perk, you can see in the dark better. Each level of this perk will reduce the overall darkness level by 10%. This is kind of nice, but small and slow. Quick pockets. You learn to better store your uh, equipment on your person. With each level of this perk, the AP cost to access inventory in combat is reduced by one. Scout. You have improved ability to see distant locations, increasing the size of explorations in the world map by one square in each direction. Oh. Smooth talker is counter to my character. Has it, uh, learned to increase their options in dialogue. Without understanding what they're talking about. Oh. Each level of this perk will increase your... Intelligence by one? For purposes of dialogue only? Is that what I'm reading? So I have an even higher dial in intelligence during dialogue. I don't know if I can go higher than 10, though. And dialogue tricks are kind of what I'm erring away from. Kind of like the idea of people not liking me. And seeing what kind of... What a playthrough looks like when you have to deal with that. Swift learner. You are indeed a swift learner with this perk, as each level will give you an additional 5% bonus whenever you earn experience points. Best purchased at an early level. Like, um, fucking immediately, basically. You have to make up for the bonus. Yeah. Is there a level cap? That's worth checking real quick. All at one level cap. In the first Fallout, the level cap is 21, and in Fallout 2, it's 99, apparently. That just, that's just was included. I have bonus information. Oh god, it did the thingy again. Uh, I just need to clear out this much space and I can read what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm usually inclined to not get bonus experience things in games. Because the way I read it is that you usually don't level up that many times. And so you have a limited budget of 
level up perks and you permanently gimp your character by losing, uh, you, you permanently lose progress by getting that level up perk. Like you, you'll level up faster, but you won't have a perk that you could have otherwise had that did something besides leveling. And, uh, gee, it's, I had some kind of math idea at some point for this kind of situation where it was like, if it's 5%, then you'd have to gain 20 levels before you're even really feeling the effect of that bonus experience in a meaningful way. And this game only has 20 levels to begin with, so this seems kind of wasteful. Awareness just, just seems really fittingly in character, I guess. So I kind of want to try that. Uh, do I ever get more special points? I would kind of be inclined to think no, like they're just my base stats. But, uh... I was about to say that in D&D &D you don't get to increase your stats, but you actually do. Like, every four levels you get to get a bit more. Let's see. Can I just max out small guns? Oh! It goes high. I see. <laughs> it goes very high. So I can really specialize in that stuff. It wouldn't hurt to be good at freaking healing myself, though. I gotta be self-sufficient out here in the wasteland. Arma? Reputation, general, eight. This is a ranged stat? That represents your general reputation. The higher the number, the better known and respected you are. If your rep is negative, you are hated by some of your, for some of your evil actions. A ranged stat? I don't know what the word ranged means in that context. It's a little weird. Nope, oh, there's my kill so far. 20 rats. Top of the leaderboard, baby. <laughs> uh, I've made poor choices. Nope. He has 50 out of 65 hit points and is wielding a Desert Eagle with 7 out of 8 shots. That's a lot of detailed information right there. Oh, no. Just want to talk to him. Calm down, game. Uh, end combat? Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? You don't seem to like me anymore for saving your life. Still pretty mad about the insult to the town. Me? What do you need me for? Now, if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. The way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? What do I get in return? I'll tell you what. Anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? Yeah, I'll do that. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. Yeah, I think I'm kind of leaning in on the idea that I'm going to think this guy's going to be kind of a dick. <laughs> I think he's gonna be, he's gonna be a dick, and he's gonna be selfish, and so you better come up with some reason why he'd want to help you. We'll see how that goes. It's good to have a character. Question is if I can stick to it. But yeah, I, I do play a lot of games just being like, what would I do? And just kind of like decoding the morality or whatever. But uh, let's be a wastelander. R.I.P. Kenji? <laughs>